a very good morning to my dear students i hope we all are good at your home i am teacher arpita gupta your social study teacher in this video we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter 15 some great indians so watch it attentively there have been many great people who are remembered even now for their contribution to society religion science arts literature and music let us read about the lives of some such people so let's start with charak charak father of medicine Charak was a son of a sage. He was born in 300 BC and is considered to be one of the greatest contributor to the system of medicine development in ancient India. He believed that it was more important to prevent the occurrence of a disease than to seek a cure. He was of the opinion that one need to study all the factors including environment which influenced a patient's disease before prescribing treatment Charak was the first physician to present the concept of digestion He wrote a book on medicine called Charak Sahita In his book he described the diagnosis and treatment of many diseases He described the various stages through which food passes before being fully digested. He also listed what duties and responsibilities doctors had towards patients. He had a vast knowledge about the medical values of many plants. Our next great person is Sushrut Sushrut was born in 16th century BCE. He was a descendant of the Vedic sage Vishwamitra. He learned surgery and medicine at Varanasi and became surgeon. He wrote the famous Sushrut Samhita. Sushrut was a noted surgeon who lived about 200 years ago. Sushrut performed many kinds of surgeries. removing stones from bladder and kidneys treating the fractures and performing eye operation known as the father of plastic surgery he was specially skilled in reconstructing noses sushrut had a vast knowledge of medical medicinal plants he is also the author of the sushrut samhita a well known work on medicine Now children let's read about the Kalidas a noted poet and dramatist Kalidas is regarded as India's greatest dramatist and poet he lived during the rule of Chandragupta II the famous ruler of the Gupta dynasty he was one of the nine gems navratna at the court of Chandragupta Vikramaditya Some of his well-known works include Abhigyan Shakuntalam, Meghdutam, Ritu Samhar, and Kumar Sambhav. His work have been translated into many languages. Now, we will read about Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born on 2nd October 1869 at Porbandar in Gujarat. His father was Mr. Karamchand Gandhi. His mother Putli Bai was a religious lady. He studied law in England and soon got an opportunity to go to South Africa to fight a case for an Indian businessman. Mahatma Gandhi is also known as the father of the nation. At that time South Africa was ruled by the British. During his stay there he saw 
how the British mistreated and discriminated against the Indians and the black natives living there. He launched a non-violent struggle to fight against this racial discrimination. In 1915, Gandhiji returned to India. Under his leadership, the Indian freedom struggle became quite strong. Finally, in 1947, the British were forced to leave the country and grant India its freedom. Next character is Rani Lakshmi Bai. Rani Lakshmi Bai was the queen of Jhansi. She was born in 1835 in Varanasi. She played an important role in the Indian Rebellion of 1857. She was an epitome of courage and bravery. She was born in a Maratha family and she was an important name in the struggle for independence against the Britishers. Now, our next character is Rani Lakshmi Bai. Rani Lakshmi Bai was the queen of Jhansi. She was born in 1835 in Varanasi. She played an important role in the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Children, do you know, she was an epitome of courage and bravery. She was born in a Maratha family and she was an important name in the struggle for independence against the Britishers. Let's discuss about the Tansen. Akbar, the famous Mughal emperor, has nine great people in his court. They were called the Navratnas, means nine gems. Tansen was one of them. He was the greatest singer, musician of that time. Tansen originally belonged to Gwalior in MP. When he was a young boy, he greatly impressed by Swami Haridas, a saint singer of Vrindavan. It was Swami Haridas who taught Tansen the music. Tansen developed a new style of his own by combining the Indian and the Persian style of music. So children, in this video we have discussed about Tansen, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Mahatma Gandhi, Kalidas, Sushrut, and Charak. The remaining characters we will be discussing in our next video. So, watch this video attentively, go through the video. If you have any doubts, so drop your message or you can call me and read the chapter from the book. Thank you. Have a nice day.